Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back once again to another video. In this video, everyone, I'm going to be showing you guys that I have switched to Zubuntu, and, uh, yeah, um, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm sure many of you are going to be asking me, TechBizmo, why would you install XFCE or an XFCE Linux distribution on such a awesome, fast, and beefy computer? Now, yes, this is a valid question, of course, because... Uh, I'm not aware with any desktop environment in the Linux community that cannot be handled by my new computer. So uh, yeah, that is a good question. TechBizmo, why would you use XFCE? And the reason why I'm using XFCE is because, well, I like it. <laughs> XFCE is not only very fast, but it's also just very, very customizable. And I've just always been such a fan of it. Um, well, I say always. I've been such a fan of it. Um, about one fourth through my Linux knowledge. <laughs> um, so yeah, about three months, no, probably about, yeah, probably about a few months after I started using Linux, that's when I was introduced to the XFCE desktop environment, desktop environment, and that's when I just started to absolutely love the XFCE desktop environment. Um, but yeah, let's get to, let's uh, go ahead and uh, get started with uh, taking a look at uh, my setup. So as you can see, we've just got uh, my lovely, the lovely whisker menu, and you know I've added the little title that says menu. Then we've got Firefox transmission uh, terminal. We've got Pigeon um, file manager, simple screen recorder, Canon Live, and uh, our window buttons. So I just love these fantastic window buttons. I love being able to just switch between the t you know my two applications and stuff when I'm using it. Um, and let me actually try something. I've never tried you know the Windows Shake thing. No, I guess they don't have that, but if you don't know in Windows 10 or I guess in, like, I think it was starting with Windows Vista maybe, maybe Windows 7, um, <clears throat> you'd shake uh, the window that you are, you would shake a window and then it would close all the windows that are behind it. So it was kind of a useful feature, but yeah, not really useful enough for me to complain about, you know, it not being on XFCE. <laughs> Anyways, we've got um, our Pulse Audio plugin. We've got Simple Screen Recorder, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, um, yeah, here's the Bluetooth, um, wait, what, what that, what in the world? My Bluetooth just went, just went bye-bye. <laughs> um, okay, uh, <laughs> we've got our lovely notification center, we've got our battery manager, you can see, just got display brightness, whoa, that's really dark, whoa, that's really bright, <laughs> you can see my battery is fully charged currently, um, then we've got my lovely, LCD clock. I love the LCD clock. I've never used a different clock in, in XFCE. I've always gone, uh, w like right when I install XFCE, I'm always like, all right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and left click, or I apologize, right click and go to properties and then change the layout to LCD. And you know, what's fuzzy look like? Five to two. <laughs> uh, digital. Yeah. Just classic, lovely digital clock. And yep, that is what I want. 24 hour clock. Um, we've also got our file manager, and uh, on the desktop we've just got home, file system, and trash, as you guys can obviously see. No, no, really? I can see that? <laughs> um, yeah, so we've just got the home directory, and, you know, we just have our directories right here, our folders, and, yeah. And then I've got this sort of just, you know, fan-made, lovely Ubuntu flat wallpaper. I don't know who that was made by, but... I like it. <laughs> I love the uh, the two orange colors. This is kind of the Tech Bismo orange, or maybe this is I don't know, but either one of them is like the Tech Bismo, the Tech in Tech Bismo uh, color orange, and then the white is you know the background color of my channel art. <laughs> so I don't know. It kind of fits in with my channel art. If it was um right here, I guess maybe this Ubuntu logo was uh, like a dark gray, kind of like this color as the panel color. Um, then it would kind of be the Tech Bismo colors like orange and then white, you know, orange right here and white right here. That would kind of be the Tech Bismo colors. Anyways, <laughs> let's just, uh, sorry, I'm getting a bit off track. Um, we've got our lovely uh, XFCE theming. You could see my appearance theme. My uh, GTK, th GTK theme is just the Numix theme. And I can show you in the appearance. So we'll head over to appearance and you can see it's set it Numix and then icons is Numix circle and then if we go to uh, window manager you can see we've got that theme set on Numix 
Well, anyways, guys, it has come towards the end of this video now. Um, I thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. Um, this was just a, um, yeah, just to let you guys know that I am finally and successfully on my brand new computer, and everything works pretty great. Um, one thing to complain about is that my fan, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my uh, graphics processing unit fan is making a kind of <coughs> noise. It's, you know, kind of grinding, so I might have to replace that fan, but not too big of an issue. Anyways, guys, as I said, it has come towards the end of this video now. Uh, I thank you guys very, very much for watching this video, and uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. So actually, I'm not sure if I noted this. Um, even if I did, I'm still going to put this at the end of the video. But uh, here we have the uh, directory menu where we've got our directories. Uh, this is also something I've always had when I install XFCE. Well, well when I install XFCE Linux distributions. Um, yeah.